Hi everybody, it is March 22nd, 2019. I have no clue what is going on with my audio. I have tried uh, different approaches and the reverb I just heard on the video that I posted last night. Now, I checked to make sure that that is not there. It's not there. That's why I post the videos and then I play it on YouTube and you have that echo. So, I am sorry. Uh, this has happened periodically with my videos. Don't know if it happens with anybody else, but I don't know what the hell is going on. I want to play some videos for you. The flooding that we have in Missouri, Iowa, Nebraska in particular, is not normal. And I believe the Army Corps of Engineers is greatly responsible for it. So this video, uh, I want to thank my subscriber for sending it along to me. This is the Missouri River at Omaha's iconic labor statue. This is day one of the flood of 2019. This is five days later. Rising water that left a good chunk of Offutt Air Force Base in Bellevue just a few miles downstream underwater, along with several Iowa towns. Destruction that finds Senator Chuck Grassley questioning the Corps of Engineers' water releases from dams upstream, and he's promising to investigate. Not being on top of it ahead of time, trying to anticipate things, uh, it's ridiculous. Those high waters on the Missouri find Omaha's wastewater treatment plant shut down, and officials with the Cooper Nuclear Plant in Brownville playing wait and see as the facility continues to run at full throttle. At the same time, Officials with the Papio, Missouri NRD tell News Channel Nebraska that for the immediate future, the Missouri remains a concern. In Omaha. Yeah. Okay. The Army Corps of Engineers took to the air to get a look at the flooding in Hamburg, Iowa. What they saw stunned them. The entire town of 600 homes covered in water. Major General Scott Spellman. What did you see on your site assessment? A system that was uh, overwhelmed. So uh, these, uh, this levee system was conduct, uh, built back in the 1950s and 1960s, and it's completely inundated. According to the Army Corps, 200 miles of levees across four states were compromised by this flooding. Repairing them could cost billions. Since the levees failed, is that a failure in design, or are we seeing a weather system that we haven't seen before? In this part of the basin, this is a weather system that we have not seen before. Hamburg is six miles from the Missouri River, so minor flooding is common. This is not. This isn't flooding. This is something else. Catherine Crane has been Hamburg's mayor for 12 years. We're not wealthy. We are so not how, wealthy. how are you going to rebound from this? Um, we're asking for help. And we're going to build that levee the way we want to build it. And it will be 14 feet tall. And this isn't going to happen again. And that's what they wanted to do. The federal government steps in. The Army Corps of Engineers steps in. No, it can only be five feet. So the Army Corps of Engineers is responsible for the flooding that you see. And as you will see, well, the Army Corps of Engineers has been criticized year after year after year. Look at this dam, okay? The flooding created all of this damage to this dam. All of the damage to the infrastructure. It collapsed bridges, roads, and dams. I find this very hard to believe unless our infrastructure was so greatly weakened that the flooding just completely destroyed so much infrastructure. And when you see this, you know, there's hardly any water left in this river. So all of that water took out so many counties of Nebraska. 
I can't play this. This is The Daily Show. This is a six minute video on the Army Corps of Engineers. Oh, and it's funny, but it really shows you how corrupt the Army Corps of Engineers is. So this graph here, the Army Corps of Engineers puts up these dams, locks, depending on barge tonnage, the barges going through these rivers, and they have claimed that the tonnage was increasing when it was decreasing. When it was decreasing. They are stealing your money. Stealing your money. And they're creating an awful lot of flooding. Not once, but twice, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers comes under fire for the way it wants to spend stimulus dollars. Last year, our Oklahoma Impact Team told you about plans for a million-dollar guardrail. Oh, sorry. Dam on a road that's rarely used. Now, our Oklahoma Impact Team discovered the Corps has found other ways to spend tax dollars. And Oklahomans aren't happy. Here's Alex Cameron. Forty years ago, the Corps spent $46 million to build the Optima Lake, but the lake never filled up with water. Many people feel if that wasn't a big enough waste of money, the Corps is wasting even more of our tax dollars out there now. Oklahoma Impact's Amy Lester investigates. This belongs to not just the people in Texas County, but people in the whole United States. This is yours. This is mine. Brian Test is talking about the 13,000 acres of land known as Optima Lake, a wildlife area where he frequently hunts, and a place where he says the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers just wasted more than 200,000 stimulus dollars by tearing down restrooms, picnic tables, shelters, and closing a road. To destroy public property that, that was in good condition makes me angry. It makes me really angry that people in the government aren't any better stewards of our money than that. The Corps says all of the structures were a safety hazard. Brian's pictures tell a different story. Some look perfectly fine to him and to Gus Blackwell, the state representative for this area. They are, as they have been, uh, using money foolishly. Blackwell's frustrated with the Corps about the demolition and because they originally wanted to spend a million stimulus dollars on a new guardrail along this road across the dam. Then, while facing political pressure, they pulled the plug on that project and decided to put in these gates to close the road instead. People who live out here say the road, with its old guardrail, doesn't pose a safety risk and want it to remain open. It is a uh, huge waste of money, a huge waste of time, uh, when if they'd have just left it the way it was, everything would have continued without any problem. The Corps stands by how it spent the stimulus money while admitting the lake is practically empty and not fulfilling its original purpose. To decide how to handle that, the Corps is doing as many as three costly studies with an estimated total price tag of as much as a million dollars. Why not just do one study, get it all done at one time? It's a good question because I don't know the answer to that. Ross Adkins, the spokesperson for the Corps, says the Army requires multiple studies to look at options. According to Adkins, the first one is finding nothing the Corps didn't already know. When someone hears, oh, you're finding nothing new, then in their mind they're going to think, a waste of money. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. I, are, uh, Americans, are you tired of having to have your government steal your money? And so many agencies, well, at the very least, mismanage it. Uh, at the other end, they are using it for other purposes. And one of the purposes is to destroy so many areas in this country for the reshaping of it in accordance with the United Nations Agenda 2030 plan. It is hard to see all of what is taking place when you know that 
certainly the large majority, if not all, of what we are seeing, the destruction, is deliberate to move people out of areas, to move them into the mega regions, the smart meters, uh, and then you have to face so many Americans that laugh at you, call you names. I really hope that people begin to wake up. I really hope that a full investigation takes place on the flooding that is occurring right now as I speak. The Army Corps of Engineers, these levee breaches. Uh, are we ever going to hold anybody accountable for what is taking place? The city of New Orleans straddles sea level with three large drainage canals and 350 miles of levees meant to be a line of protection from nature's threats. But the levee system designed by the Army Corps of Engineers failed catastrophically in 2005. A system in name only is what the Corps called it in a sweeping interagency study concluded nearly one year following the fatal flooding. But that same report says researchers found no evidence of negligence on behalf of the Corps or its contractors, simply that they missed a few things in the design, like sinking soil levels. The report also pointed fingers at local officials, namely the Orleans Levy Board, that had opposed proposed design plans in the 80s. H.J. Bosworth Jr., an engineer and researcher for the activist group Levies.org, has spent years clearing up the Corps' claims. They screwed up. And they're so defensive, instead of owning their mistake and putting their big boy pants on, they just want to point the finger at everybody else and call me a liar. A new report released this year in the Water Policy Journal confirms what Bosworth has maintained for years. The levy board was not at fault, and that the blame lies squarely on the core. A study done in 1985 had predicted the failure. When pumping water against an eye wall, the old levy construction, water seeped under, and the test levy gave way. At the end of that study, the guys who prepared the study said additional study is necessary because this test failed. The core went ahead with the eye wall, shaped just like it sounds, a straight up and down concrete slab driven into the ground, but only 17 feet down. After everything happened, how deep did we find out that it should have been? Probably twice as deep. Cutting corners saved the Corps $100 million at the time, but in the end, cost the Gulf Coast more than 1,800 lives and billions in rebuilding. Renee Pope. Yeah. Lives. People dead or their homes, businesses destroyed. The Army Corps of Engineers is one of those agencies that is implementing the United Nations Agenda 2030 all over our country. And they are blowing levees. They are releasing water from dams, reservoirs to create massive flooding that so many people have to suffer from the consequences are really, well, if you've never experienced the consequences, you have no idea what those consequences are. Sacramento's levee system is critical for protecting nearly half a million people from floods, but there is a battle brewing over how to reinforce those levees. And today, a Sacramento Congresswoman took aim at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. KCRA3's Mike Lurie shows us why. Katrina was a wake-up call for the whole nation. Congresswoman Doris Matsui wants Sacramento's levy system to be improved. She's critical of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for failing, she says, to focus on fixing those levies. 2006, after Katrina, um, they decided that they wanted to get rid of all of the vegetation, including trees on the levee, which is totally outside of what most experts believe need to be done. Matsui says... Right. So, listen to this. 
New evidence that government-owned computers at the Army Corps of Engineers office here in New Orleans are being used to verbally attack critics of the Corps comes in an affidavit from the former editor-in-chief of NOLA.com. John Donnelly, who was laid off this past February, tells us via satellite from Texas, in late 2006, he started noticing people presenting themselves as ordinary citizens, defending the Corps very energetically. What stuck out, though, was the wording of the uh, comments was in many ways mirroring news releases from the Corps of Engineers. This past December, Eyewitness News reported that Levies.org founder Sandy Rosenthal found a recurring theme in attacks against her and her supporters on her internet blogs. And that message is that the locals blocked the Corps' wishes. And, and thus that the locals are responsible for the flooding. Someone with the username Overwrought wrote, Sure, blame the Corps for the flood wall failures, but who do you blame for your own stupidity for putting your families in such a situation? And with the screen name Steve O'Nolan, someone wrote on November 18th, quote, you have chosen Corps bashing to persuade enough underinformed people that Katrina was a federal flood. Then the rest of the nation will pour even more money into the sinkhole of New Orleans. These commenters are uh, trying to discredit uh, these people. And when Rosenthal investigated, she discovered the comments were coming from users at the internet provider address of the Army Corps of Engineers offices here in New Orleans. She blamed the Corps for a strategy of going after critics. In the process of, of, of trying to obscure the facts of the New Orleans floodings, one of their tactics was just verbal abuse. The Corps denied any such strategy, saying this isolated incident involved one person out of 1,600 people that make up the New Orleans district. At NOLA.com, John Donnelly noticed some of the users blasting core critics became verbally abusive. And they would go out of their way to target particular users who uh, maybe did a better job in criticizing the core. And Donnelly said he also noticed these users who attacked core critics were using Army Corps equipment. He made a spreadsheet of the activity over six weeks at the end of December and the beginning of January. Uh, during that six-week period, there were nearly 700 comments from Corps IPs, the same group of people that I've been watching for over two years. So this was not an isolated incident. The Center for Media and Democracy, which focuses on public relations tactics, says if this is a strategy, it is not uncommon. In the PR world, it's known as a third party tactic, and there, there have been a lot of very similar deceptive uh, online communications that, that use that. But the Army Corps denies any strategy or policy like that at all. This is not some plan where, you know, where we would go out and ask employees to do this. No. Ken Holder says employees are allowed to use computers to read blogs and make comments during their breaks. You certainly don't check your citizenship rights at the door. Even using taxpayer funding. You would be able to use, as I mentioned earlier, you would be able to use your computer during the break times that you had. But he says Corps employees are not allowed to make abusive comments of any kind. Ken Holder says he will gladly look into the allegations further to see if people at the Corps have violated ethics regulations. And we know that this goes on. Every agency, U.S. government, all of the trolls, man, do we have an enormous, an enormous fight that we are facing every single day. But of course, yes, fight to tame a swelling river with dams that may be outmatched by climate change. It's the climate change. It's the climate change. And in the video that I posted last night, uh, the New York Times article said, yep, it was climate change. That, uh, well, they just said that it was a presumption to start with. Climate change is bringing about more and more rain that they have forecasted uh, months and months ahead but that we're going to get more and more rain, more and more flooding. How do you forecast months ahead? They don't. They're just putting it in there because they know the American people have stopped thinking so they can just say whatever the hell they want to say. And it's like how how do you deal with the time that we are living climate change
Now, climate change. Our roads can't withstand rain anymore. Our dams can't withstand rain anymore. The levees breach all over. It's climate change. And you know what? Most are lazy. And they just go along with whatever the hell they hear. And that, that is one of the major reasons why so many people have to suffer these consequences. I really hope to God that people in Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, all over, I really hope that they take a step back, look at what has been reoccurring in many areas. Because it's not climate change. Even if it were climate change, this would happen incrementally. It would not come upon us almost overnight. No. Anyway, the links are below. The Army Corps of Engineers. While I cannot say with 100% certainty, I do believe that they are behind a lot of the flooding that is taking place right now. Oh, and dare you criticize a federal agency. Then you get destroyed. Hmm. What a world.